Hey guys, Coach Castle here, and today I'm going to be showing you a clip from Coach Greg Duchette, a gentleman I have quite a bit of respect for, um, and I think he covers a pretty amazing point. I've made this point myself many times in the past, but it does help to hear it from another coach, and unfortunately, since he's more well-known, his, his word rather carries more weight than mine. You eat 4,200 clean calories a day, drink a gallon of water, work out six days a week, eat 250 grams of protein, and you lift with intensity, all to have a mid-physique. Now listen, first things first, this ain't no mid-physique. This is top 1% genetics. This is 99 percentile. Guy looks better than 99% of the population. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. This is utterly ridiculous. I deal with this on a weekly basis. Men and women both emailing me with completely unrealistic expectations for fat loss or muscle growth, or particularly in men's case, how much muscle they actually have underneath a massive amount of fat they have on their bodies. It's very unrealistic. People don't know their bodies very well or what is possible or attainable. On top of that, of course, all of these fitness influencers you people mindlessly follow without critically thinking lie to you about what they do, the drugs they take, their genetics, how long they've been training, etc. But in comparison to most people, most people who work out and most people who even take steroids, they're not gonna look nearly this good. All right, so this is a biggie, guys. A biggie is the steroids. So many people don't understand that basically every movie star, every actor, every Olympic athlete, every athlete of any high caliber and most mid-caliber athletes, including college students and high school students, are taking steroids. Most of the people in your gym are taking steroids or peptides or SARMs or whatever they want to call it, and they are enhanced. Doesn't mean they look like they are doesn't mean they're any better than you. They might not be big or bulky. They could be skinny. They could be fat. They could be taking 10 times the amount of drugs as professional bodybuilders and look like a broomstick or like a big fat guy. It doesn't mean anything if they're not eating correctly or training correctly and doing everything else right. These things all come back to genetics, guys. If you think that just by going to the gym, eating healthy, training hard, that you're automatically going to look better than this, well, hate to break it to you, but you're not. And so here's the problem. It's social media. The videos that you're watching, the pictures that you're seeing, it's the best of the best. And so as you're swiping through, you keep being shown the top 1% of the 1%. Yes, you are always shown on social media, touched up, photoshopped, photo brushed, best possible lighting, morning before any food in the stomach, heavily dieted, shots from once or twice a year, which they then space out throughout the year. Fitness influencers are lazy, unhealthy people. They're usually not in shape year round. They use the same pictures all year with the best possible lighting. Or perhaps they are in shape year round or semi in shape year round, but then they use the computer to enhance everything. It doesn't matter. These are still upper tier genetic people who have been training for a long time. You're not gonna get there in six months or a year like they're promising with their bullshit plans and lies. And so you compare yourself, which you shouldn't, but you're thinking, I wanna look like that. There's pressure to look this way. Pressure to have single digit body fat to look amazing. And then you go to the gym and you do everything perfect and you don't end up nearly as good as you hoped. You watch Chris Bumstead, Alex Eubank, Jesse James, the list goes on and on. And you're comparing yourself to them and thinking, well, I don't look as good as them. And I'm eating perfect, I'm training hard, I'm doing everything I should, and I'm not nearly as good. And then you feel, this is sadly most people's mentality. You have to understand it is a very long, lengthy process. And unfortunately in this world, the word patience doesn't seem to exist because of social media as already previously mentioned. You should only compare yourself to yourself because you're the only person with your circumstances, your genetics, your training history, your injury history, etc. the rest. You have to compare yourself to yourself. Get off your social media. Stop looking at all of these just frankly, completely ridiculous images people should look at telling you you can look like them in blank days or whatever. No, it takes years. It's a very lengthy process. And even elite athletes don't necessarily look really good. On top of that, I should add what men and women like and think is attractive is very different. Men think they should look like these big, huge, muscular bodybuilders. Women generally like the slender, lean, athletic men, which is naturally what you'll be achieving anyways without the chemicals if you train incorrectly. 
nearly as good. And then you feel depressed, disappointed, like you're not doing things right. And you go to social media and you see, look at Michael Hearn at 53 years of age. The guy looks incredible. And he states, hey, you kids out there, you know, the younger people, you have all these amazing new drugs. They're called peptides. Why did you go and take those? Yes, you can also lose fat and you can also build muscle. But for me, you kids that are learning about this stuff, something I didn't have as a kid, peptides. They are freaking amazing. They're the hugest thing right now. Okay, frankly, the Michael Hearn thing is a little, well, I shouldn't say it's surprising. It's not surprising. He's been on drugs his entire life. He's been lying his entire life, and he's been a sellout and scapegoat bullshit artist his entire life. So I'm not surprised by this, but the fact that he recommends it so blatantly is kind of disgusting. If you don't know what these things are, just Google them, search them. You shouldn't be putting them in your body, and he certainly shouldn't be encouraging people at his age because a lot of people are stupid, and they really believe he's natural, even though he's 100% definitely. No. Peptides, they are freaking amazing. They're the hugest thing right now. And so you're thinking, I don't know what to do. And what do you do? You end up taking peptides, SARMs, possibly even steroids. All for what? To compare yourself to the best of the best. And even then, even with those things, probably still going to be disappointed. I frankly don't really have anything else to add. Only compare yourself to yourself. Do the best exercises. What I teach, the biomechanically correct exercises, Eat the best, what I teach, how to correct your microbiome, eat healthily, correct your respiratory system so you can get the most power output out of your body. If you're doing all of these things, you're eating, you're sleeping correctly, you're training correctly, your hormones are on point, all these things, it's all, if it's all done with complete confidence that what you're doing is the best, you're going to make the most rapid progress. Use Ocam's razor for God's sakes. Just understand, all these snake oil salesmen they are lying to you and hoping you don't do your own research. You buy their bullshit programs. You do their stupid squats and deadlifts and bench presses and silly movements they make up, all ego lifting with no actual knowledge behind it, just because they say, look at me, look at me. Don't you want a body like this? You can't have a body like that unless you pick the correct parents. Did you? Probably not unless you're in the 1% of the 1% of the 1% of the population that has these wonderful genetics. Most people don't have them. So perhaps you do, perhaps you don't. Either way, you should still only compare yourself to yourself. Even if you're the best in the world, you can only hope to improve yourself to the best of your abilities. You can't try to look like somebody else by following their program or their diet. That's not the way the human body works. Every little bit counts, don't forget, get your finger exercise in and help me out at the same time, like, share, comment, and subscribe.